Hi, here's your Knight Sebastian Power Zika. Welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna try to communicate uh, with Prince Philip, so the creature who have lived as the man Prince Philip in the United Kingdom. And the creature, Prince Philip, can trigger the wind today. He can canalize the wind to this wind tools. So if you want to agree to stuff, he can use a higher wind level to say yes or to agree to stuff I speak out. To the creature who canalized the wind before, can you agree that you are the creature Prince Philip? So the creature who have lived also as the man Prince Philip. He's presenting the star, that means yes, and he's canalizing, triggering the wind. Can you produce more wind to make that clear? And you can see that more wind is reaching this tool, okay? So you have lived as a man until a short while ago and then your human body died, is correct, right? Yes. Can you trigger the wind a little bit more to make that clear? And he's triggering the wind more to make that clear, okay? And that's important because today is the 9th of April and um, he have lost his human body just a very short while ago. Today is the 9th of April in the year 2021 and uh, you died just a, a day or two days ago, something like that. So just a short while ago, that's true, right? I give him a moment because he's turning that thing. Uh, so you died just a short while ago was correct, right? And he's triggering the wind to agree to that stuff. And always if Prince Philip is um, triggering the wind, canalizing the wind to the wind tool, you can see that the wind tool is moved by the wind. Okay? So the creature is using the natural environment. He's controlling the weather to communicate towards you, the people which are watching the video. And the identification is that this is Prince Philip. Philip, the Prince Philip, who just uh, lost his human body um, today or yesterday, something like that, a short while ago. And he's agreeing to that by using more wind, okay? By triggering the wind. So, with this wind tools, you can watch the wind tools. And later, if he wants to use the natural environment here in the background, you can also watch the trees because he can also canalize the wind into this area and then these plants always move more because they receive more wind and then they react to the wind level okay and with this wind tools he can trigger the wind so use a higher wind level to say yes or to agree to stuff I speak out he can do that specific to reply to questions if you want to say yes or he can work with this star side these wind tools have on one side a star, the golden star you can see here. And if the tools are turned, they do have no star on the other, on the other side. Um, so he can also say no with that. But uh, the creator, Prince Philip, had no time to um, train to use the wind. Because he just lost his human body and we just started the communication so we have to give him maybe a moment to learn how to turn that tool very specific in case we're going to use that. But for the moment you have understood the wind tool hopefully and you have understood if you want to say yes, he's going to use a higher wind level and then you see the tool flying in the wind. Okay? And if he's triggering the wind specific to agree to stuff, you don't need to watch out for the stars thing. Okay? So, and he's agreeing to that. So, uh, Prince Philip, you are agreeing to that. That's the way how you can communicate, right? So that the people do understand that. He's agreeing to that and that's uh, why you see these wind tools now staying more in the wind, flying more with the wind because more wind was used, okay? So that's what you have to watch out uh, for if you want to understand his opinion or how uh, Prince Philip sees things. Regarding the identification, so um, at the moment, I do not have uh, contact numbers of your direct family members, to be honest. Um, but you would be willing to present yourself again, to communicate with me maybe again, in case they want to identify you, right? And he's agreeing to that strongly, so he used a strong wind wave, that's why you could see that thing turning. Can you uh, agree to that one more time? 
So you would answer questions, test questions, stuff like that in case your family members want to identify you correct and you can see he's using a high wind level to agree to that. Okay, that's to the family members of Prince Philip. So you are invited if you want to try that, you can send uh, some people to test this creature out regarding his identification. So for example, the MI5 or so on. Um, and I'm sure they have enough files with information regarding your life so um, because Prince Philip have been popular in the United Kingdom okay for the other people which live in other countries that they do understand that and he's agreeing to that so with popular people or people which have lived a popular life of course um, for example police secret services stuff like that they do collect a lot of information and it should be quite easy um, to to test the creature out so to give him some test questions so that he can prove his identity by answering them correct and so on because that would help uh, maybe your family and it would help him to identify himself correct towards uh, his family so um, you just lost your human body so um, did you are you used to the fact that you have lost your human body already yes so that was working very quick that you could learn to exist in the new new form of existence if, if you want it like that yes so okay what I'm asking is after he lost his human body if he could adopt to the new lifestyle quickly because now he sees himself you see yourself as a creature right not as a creature with a body like a human would see him or herself during the lifetime it's correct right today you just look at yourself as a creature yes he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind okay so that's of course important um, and interesting for me to know because I had not we, we had not so much contact you did contact with me a few minutes before I started the video um, so he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind and um, so he had not much time to learn to use the wind uh, in the communication with me I have not optimized my communication with him um, and uh, not too many questions were solved before I started the video I just were watching a um, live stream regarding your death on, uh, on a media channel because the media is broadcasting it that he died so that the human body died and uh, I was watching media data regarding that a live stream because it's streamed live at the moment today and um, it's the 9th of April in the year 2021 and that's Prince Philip okay and during the moment I was watching the media data he contacted me the creator and um, then he signaled me that he would like to send a live signal to his living family members with uh, such a video material like I'm trying to capture that for you the people which are watching the video and of course for his family members which may be gonna see the video so um, and with the identification they have the first live signal and now they can send questions to to ensure the identity is correct and everything and they can ask further questions and to the family members in case you see the video material you can send your questions to to um, ziga at ciembassy.com so s-i-e-g-e-r at ciembassy.com and then i can produce another video with uh, prince philip or you can even come you can even contact me for an appointment and then you would present yourself is that correct prince philip so if they want to meet for example in bonn or in frankfurt where i am right now then you would be able to present yourself and to communicate with them by triggering and canalizing the wind for example and he's agreeing to that which means he thinks also that this would be possible so that's an information to the living family members of prince philip okay so that you have an open door you can contact if you want it like that and then we can try to communicate uh, with him here in frankfurt or in bonn uh, the most of the time i'm in bonn germany or um, we can meet somewhere 
and he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind strongly and during such a meeting you would be able to learn to outread the communication he can use and then you would be able there wherever we meet to communicate with him by yourself for maybe an hour or minimum an hour maybe you can he can communicate with you like that afterwards later um, more often but that's not that's not guaranteed so the family is invited to contact me if you want to so and um, for the other visitors of course I um, I help often creatures which want to leave a life signal for the living family members like Prince um, Philip, sorry, I forgot your name to be honest. Prince Philip was correct, right? Prince Philip was right. He's triggering the wind, and you can see that if you watch down here, and you can see it here if you watch the background. Okay, he triggered the wind there, and he's triggering, triggering it here clearly. Uh, I can help you with that. The tool is hanging uh, a little bit at the camera in the camera thing. So, um, you, you um, did communicate with me through body sharing also, right? So you were connected to my human body. He's agreeing to that by using a high wind level. And uh, he was qu you were quite emotional when you contacted me, that you had get a chance to, to send a life signal to your family member. And you can see how strong he's triggering the wind for that. Because it was quite emotional and uh, that's normal because I think that I think that's normal because he just lost the human body uh, such a short moment before and of course with the video hopefully the family members understand that it is a live signal from uh, Prince Philip and he's able to communicate it's just he have lost his human body and that's why you have to use the natural environment but he's able to do that so with that he can communicate with living humans and um, of course uh, I like to help if I get the request like uh, what did happen over here so uh, we watched uh, we watched this live stream regarding your death and he did contact me at that moment in time and you were watching it over my human eyes is correct right what i mean with this i explain that to the people and you can say yes and trigger the wind if you want to agree uh, he were connected in symbiosis with my human body and that made it possible for him to see with my human eyes okay that's the way you can understand it and he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind very strong see how specific So, uh, creators like um, Prince Philip, if they have the possibility in the symbiosis and if they are connected in the symbiosis with the symbiosis, they are able um, often to use biological bodies, which means human bodies, animal bodies or plant bodies. And they can connect in symbiosis to the biological body and uh, outread it, use the senses like seeing tasting stuff like that that's interesting knowledge for the people which do not know that i think can you agree to the stuff so you can see with my eyes if you are connecting to you to my human body but you can also taste with my with the senses in my mouth for example if i eat food or if i drink something and you can see he triggered the wind to agree to that can you agree one more time so that that is clear for the people so you can we you can eat with my human body if i eat something you can taste how how that tastes right you can you can connect to my senses and you can um, you can smell with my human body you can see with my human body you can taste with my human body and he's agreeing to that and he's triggering the wind strongly for that uh, strong for that also here in the background for the people that you understand that so you can also watch the close plants so and with the close with the plants in the background that was also used correct right and you can see how specific he did move again see to 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 make that clear and transparent to you the people which are watching the video okay that's how specific universal communication uh, can work 
and of course um, the family members of Prince Philip with this video you are invited to contact me and then I can um, if he's presenting himself then if we can reach him and I think that would be possible and um, then he can present himself he can use that method to communicate with me and with you and you can learn them to outread that communication a little bit better and afterwards you maybe can use that um, to be reachable for him if you if you understand how I mean that so you could you could understand if he wants to communicate with you and if he wants to tell you something specific for example so I'm enjoying the weather but um, it's very cold it is not it's not summer here um, even if I have a, a short trousers on so um, you did a lot of charity during your lifetime, is correct, right? That's what I saw in the in the video stream regarding you. That you did a lot of charity. He's agreeing to that. Can you lift him up a little bit more? If you can agree to that, that you did a lot of charity in England. He's agreeing to that. So he lifted up the, the top wind to it. With the knowledge you have today, now without your human body. Do you think um, what creatures are capable of, if they can use the symbiosis in the natural environment, could get used better in cooperation between living humans and creatures which have lived as human beings before to solve problems on planet Earth, like uh, the problems with all the rubbish and illnesses and stuff like that? He's agreeing to that. That's why he's triggering the wind. See? specific where I did point my finger at. okay so today Prince Philip I tried to explain this um, and maybe he can agree to that um, Prince Philip today the creature of course have a different he looks different on planet Earth and the natural environment because he do not see the planet Earth as a human only anymore he can see it, how a human sees that, for example, if he connects in symbiosis to a human body, to use the eyes of humans, but he can see much more, feel much more and understand much more. Is that correct? So you today as a creator, you can see much more and you can understand much more as a living human, as before as a living human. And he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind. And with that, of course, he, he sees new opportunities which could get used to help other living humans, okay? For example, in the category of illnesses um, and uh, regarding uh, trash we talked about, like rubbish. Like if I finished my bottle here, that's gonna be rubbish, sadly. So, and because we humans um, destroy the planet Earth a bit by producing so much rubbish, um, that's why I did ask the questions if he sees good potential in that area if living humans so like you the people which are watching the video would understand uh, how big the potential is uh, if Corporations would work well between creatures which have lived as human beings before which are able to use the natural environment to influence us on such a high scale and the living humans which are unable to do that the most of them if not all so, um, Prince Philip, can you agree to that? So you think there would be a good potential if living humans, if the mass of the living humans would, would cooperate with creators which have lived as human beings before to, for example, heal illnesses or to transfer new knowledge in that categories and regarding environment protection and stuff like that? And there is a clear yes for that. So. Um, creators like him could help to, to bring new knowledge to living humans that we live uh, in a cleaner environment in the future regarding the planet. Um, that's also my experience uh, from the communication with other creators which have lived as human beings before. So regarding you, there is a lot of trouble in, in the UK going on now. I've seen that in the live stream. They did forbid the people to, to um, lay flowers down in the street because of Corona. Because of the coronavirus. You have seen that, huh? Have you seen that? 
that they requested from the people to to um, not put down flowers on the street because of the corona lockdown stuff have you seen that when i was watching the documentation yes yes hmm. Um, so Corona lockdown is a hard time for the people eh? in the UK as well. Yeah, clear yes. Yeah, here in Germany, the, a lot of people went broke. Like a lot of people which had restaurants, small businesses, all of them are going broke because of the lockdown periods, which is nearly a year now. It's the same in the UK, right? That a lot of business, small business go bankruptcy, go bankrupt. Yeah. Yeah, yes the same. Do you think the lockdown is necessary like this? Yes. That's a yes. But there would be uh, do you think there would be better options as well, right? To get rid of a virus like the coronavirus. And he's triggering the wind more. That's how you could see that the wind tool, which was below, did lift up much more. The other one was um, hanging there like that. Okay, so he's agreeing to that. He's saying uh, his first opinion is, well, the lockdown is necessary, if I understood you right, um, in the situation the humans are in today. But he's also saying there would be uh, there would be, be better solutions to get rid of the coronavirus for the for the human species. Then the lockdown and the vaccines which are on the market today that's right right yes and you could see that he is triggering the wind clearly and that's why you see much more movement and you could see that the wind over here was also clearly triggered okay and of course his, opi his opinion is because he he do see much further than living humans and because they cannot they cannot read the symbiosis so much all the biological human bodies they can identify illnesses easy and stuff like that and they can deal with problems completely different than a living human doctor could do that for example so and there is a lot of pan uh, potential for mankind regarding the future if humans in general would understand that and would cooperate much better with creatures uh, which have lived as human beings before which are called ghosts or which are called ancestors for example so um so are you sure that there would be a better solution for corona with the knowledge you have up there like for the patient yes can see he's lifting that up clearly here he's presenting the star now and lifting that also up. okay I'm informing about um, about all these chances and potential I see in the field of medicine energy and so on because of the knowledge creators can have which have lived as human beings before which are connected in symbiosis uh, to the natural environment so well and uh, so complex so you can find these videos on the internet and watch them and if you're interested in cooperation just let me know because I'm searching always for cooperation partners uh, like from the science area or from the medical area and so on so on so on also if you're interested in weather regarding uh, green energy you also can contact me because there are also some videos on them I'm here in Frankfurt with Prince Philip now we are close to Frankfurt am Main Germany uh, and the Main River is very close to this area and uh, that's why you hear always the airplanes in the background that's because he is a huge airport, air airport close by um, you have landed during your lifetime a couple of times in Frankfurt I'm sure right but we I mean with the airplane when you lived as a human you you were landing a couple of times in Frankfurt right yes He's uh, presenting me the star, so he turned the star into Matthew with my human eyes, okay? That you understand that. And he's lifting up the wind to greet to death. Um, I'm here, this house where we are, uh, to belong to Christian, another creator who have lived as a man before, and he lost his human body around about a year ago. So I'm staying at the house of another ghost, if you want it like that 
with the ghost, the creator Prince Philip, and uh, with this Christian, and also with um, his wife, because she's living in the house. And um, that's why I'm producing this video in Frankfurt today, because normally I'm often in Bonn. So um, that as an extra information. Oh, I have some coffee left. So, um, you are not buried yet, is correct, right? So, you are not even buried yet. Yeah. So, um, there's going to be a ceremony very soon. Uh, event regarding that. I'm sure normally a lot of people would come, right? The, the British royals are not um, that bad regarding their image in England. So um, normally there would be a huge ceremony, right? But now because of Corona, it's going to be small. Yeah, because of Corona. Hmm. So in case um, medical people in the UK sees that, would you would you be willing to? Uh, of course, you would be willing to communicate when your family members would come to a more or less to a more private appointment. Um, but would you be also willing to present yourself and to communicate regarding uh, problems like illnesses like the coronavirus in case specialists to see that video material here and do have questions regarding the knowledge you did speak about for example yes and you could see he's lifting up the tool thing very clear to say yes to you the people which are watching the video so if you are an, a specialist uh, in uh, medicine and you work in the area of the coronavirus and if you see the video you could uh, ask for an appointment with Prince Philip to ask him out regarding his knowledge and regarding the potential he communicated to help living humans and he's triggering the wind to agree to that how I spoke it out specific can you trigger the wind uh, in a way that the, the um, the wind tool which is below also is uh, flying a little bit yes or no yeah okay so he gonna agree by lifting up both wind tools because the one is was standing there the whole time can you lift that the, the lift is it hanging or what no now it's working yeah see so with that he's agreeing to that got it so maybe we can do another video tomorrow because I'm here for another two days and I just gonna upload this one uh, as your first live signal for your family members and we can speak about the other stuff maybe in another video yes and he's producing a lot of wind for that that's for the living family members of Prince uh, Philip. He's producing a lot of wind for that for you. Okay? So watch the background regarding that. So you could see how specific and how strong. Um, okay, I'm going to upload this video because I'm, I produce a lot of other videos with Christian, the guy um, from the house here. And they also have to be uploaded. So I have a lot of data for the moment. But that's cool. I'm gonna upload that this uh, this video material as the first live signal, and there will be hopefully more video material with Prince Philip and me soon online. So latest tomorrow, and the family members they can contact me anytime if you want to identify him uh, much better, much uh, with questions, or if we if you want to test his identify all that, you can uh, request that. Um, at uh, ziga at ciambassy.com so thanks for watching your night Sebastian power ziga and the wind was canalized and triggered by Prince Philip who lost his human body just a short moment ago more video material will be hopefully online soon thanks for watching So good morning everybody, I'm Niall Sebastian Power Sieger. This video is um, for the people which do see the video of course, but also for the family members of Prince Philip. 
So um, I'm in contact with the creature who have lived in the human body, who is Prince Philip. Um, regarding the identification, the creature himself do identify himself as the creature who is Prince Philip and he can canalize the wind to communicate. So he can trigger the wind level to a higher wind level if uh, I ask him a specific question and if he wants to agree. That is important to understand. So the creature will trigger the wind now and you will see that more wind is reaching this wind tool and that's why they are standing in the wind like this. Okay? You can see they move also a little bit because, because wind is canalized there. And that is the creature identifying himself as the creature who have lived as the man Prince Philip. That's for your understanding. There is another video online from um, the 9th of April. So, and um, there's another video online where the creature who identify himself as Prince Philip um, also presented himself and did communicate with the people which are able to watch the video, including his family members. Um, to Philip, can you agree to that one more time by triggering the wind and by canalizing the wind? So regarding your identity and regarding the other video we did produce. And you can see that he's triggering the wind again. And that's why this wind tool is lifted up by the wind. See? And with that, the creator is communicating Yes, the identification, that's me, the creature who have lived as the man Prince Philip, the creature which is canalizing the wind. And uh, he's agreeing to the fact that we did produce another video. The other video, please watch that also, especially if you are a family member of him, so of Prince Philip. Because in the other video, um, I communicated and he communicated by the same method that he would like to speak to his family members um, also for a better identification of himself so that the family members have to get the chance to ask questions to test this creature out so that the creature who identify himself as uh, Prince Philip can prove that better more and that's correct right and if that's correct if you see it like that then please trigger the wind more and he did trigger the wind more and that's why you can see the wind tools are lifting up again so uh, I'm in contact with one of the family members uh, I'm gonna send the video also to you um, we had contact on Facebook so um, normally I live in Bonn this video here is also captured in Frankfurt but I will leave the area of Frankfurt am mine uh, this evening to Bonn and uh, normally I stay in the area of Bonn in Germany. So that's, that is an information uh, because uh, of our chat on Facebook. Um, so it's, uh, as I said in the other video and as uh, Philip made clear that um, for him I think it would be good if they could get a meeting arranged where other people check his identity. Maybe people which did know him very well. So that he can prove his identity better and then these people could learn potentially his family members how he can communicate with them so they can learn to understand this system better if wind is used for communication purpose and he would be able to communicate with them directly afterwards after they get a little training and uh, Philip is saying yes to that because he thinks also that would be possible and in the other video you could see I did ask the question he would also present himself them so we could uh, arrange an appointment meet and then I would come with him to that place and there he would be able to communicate with you is what he thinks today as far as he can see and I think the same at the moment um, can you agree to that one more time by triggering the wind clearly so a little bit stronger and you can see he's triggering the wind stronger where I pointed my finger at before okay um, it's got it's gonna be easy by the wind method for him so for Prince Philip to uh, reply to yes or no questions and the family members for example they could create a test 
including questions only Prince Philip, they think, could answer. And then that would make possible um, for Prince Philip to go through the test and to identify himself with that test. Okay, and the questions for the test, of course, the family members and to the friends of Prince Philip maybe have to create them or maybe the security agencies in the UK because he was also a public figure so then maybe they have also a system to check his identity and he's triggering the wind clearly because he would be willing to do such tests and to identify himself so that you can understand that so uh, that's the yes okay um, I, I'm able to communicate with him on a high level on a good level so I can, I can explain that to other people live when it is done. Okay, so when I'm practicing it, that's the best situation where other people can learn uh, to outread the wind system and to understand the communication. And during I speak out, I speak out um, Prince Philip is agreeing to what I'm saying by canalizing the wind. So please always watch the tools and the background because he also can use the trees in the background. But mainly we communicate over the tools. Now the wind is triggered in the background here with the small trees and the big trees start to shake. So you can watch both the tools and the background because the tools are so close to me. Of course, it's the easiest thing for me to, co to watch the tools. So be aware that that is the main tool we communicate over or at least Prince Philip used to communicate with me and you the people which are watching the video. But he can use also all the background because what you see is environment control weather control by the creature prince philip with support from other creatures so you have some support from other creatures in the symbiosis to present yourself like that and uh, to to answer to questions that's correct right and you can see he's triggering the wind a little bit to make that point clear okay so um Details, of course, um, if you have questions regarding this communication systems, you can, you could bring all the questions to such an appointment, and then Prince Philip can can answer questions. Yes or no questions is the best. Um, and regarding uh, the identification, I think it would be good for him because then maybe they could get a method established how which creatures later can use to identify themselves easy them in the future when you want to have other contacts or more contacts with other people um, and also for the, for your family members I think it would be very great to have that and then they would be able to communicate with you for example I could come to the UK or they could travel to Germany and um, then you are able to communicate with them there where we meet and he's agreeing to that okay so um, I think he really wants as far as I understood it he really wants to communicate with his family members that's very important for him and you can see how strong he did trigger the wind and it's getting windy back here as well you can see the movement of the huge trees back there because he produced a lot of wind to agree to that um, so that's uh, his main focus of course and also there's another information it is possible that in the future I will produce with him other videos regarding topics where we inform the public about stuff not about your family stuff no about uh, possibilities creators like him have today to communicate with living humans because I do inform about universal communication so but that's so we can separate that like uh, after we had the first good contact after that we can separate that and you can get your private videos private <laughs> not on a not on a youtube channel or whatever uh, we can establish their a data stream to you if you want to so i'm willing to support him and i'm willing to support his uh, family members if they want to use the opportunity and then uh, hopefully you have the chance to identify yourself best as possible because that's what you want you can see how strong he's canalizing the wind for that and hopefully your family have them the best opportunities to learn how you can communicate with them 
and to realize how they can use your possibilities to communicate with them as well uh, to be able to understand your position today better how you look at things with the new knowledge you have and all that and he's agreeing to that um, I'm gonna explain some more stuff there are a few technical details regarding this communication and how I uh, communicate with Philip and how he's communicating with me and which tools we are using so um, communication methods can get established okay organized between each other between me and him for example and with the with the wind tools i explained that in the other video so i'm going to explain it here if you want to say easy yes and clear he can trigger the wind to a higher wind level if i have very specific questions then we also can work with the tool different because there's a star on one side of that tool and on the other side there's no golden star so if he's turning that tool in a way that he's presenting the golden star he can say yes with that or he can turn it to the to the part where no star is presented uh, where no star is placed and with that he can also say no that's that has an extra information but to keep it easy he mostly will just trigger the wind to say yes if he can agree to something um, I communicate with him by this method which I can make transparent by filming it for you the family members and the public um, but I can um, communicate with him on several other ways as well and he can communicate with me on several other ways as well including body sharing which means if he's uh, leaving signals or informations in my biological human body uh, all these topics are becoming very complex if I talk about them so I don't want to go too deep into that first of all it is uh, I think important that the family members do understand they have opportunity the opportunity to communicate with him and he would like to communicate with his family members okay and also there's another information um, because the natural environment is used in the area where I live on a huge scale sometimes um, it would make sense because we talk about the royal family um, if if we want to meet it would be good to have a contact partner regarding security questions because creators like Prince Philip who's using that for peaceful communication can use the natural environment uh, other creators can use that as well to destroy things or to attack people so uh, and that's why I would like uh, if the family members want to meet that's why I just would like to have a contact partner in that regarding security questions just to ensure that a procedure is organized in, in case uh, any problems do come up so then it's not stressful and should work out uh, Philip you think you think it could work out peacefully most likely right the communication most likely yes and the other thing is because I have bad experience as well not with him with other creators that's why I'm saying that in general most likely the communication when Prince Philip them gonna show himself present himself communicate with the family members in case they want to use that opportunity and meet up uh, most likely they're gonna be a peaceful event that's how it's planned but I cannot see everything was going on in the universe so I'm, I said the other stuff to be clear to be prepared in case of so um, so I think oh let's solve that question for your family members so you are have the opportunity to present yourself here clearly because you have a lot of support in this symbiosis that's correct right so that's why you can use the method to, to use wind to communicate so clearly yes and you cannot guarantee as a creature that you always get everywhere the support to present yourself like that right and he's triggering the wind for that also okay um, to the family members I explained a little bit I'm communicating with a lot of creatures which have lived as human beings before and I do inform about that topic in my case I know that um, 
creators like Prince Philip, if they communicate with me or in the area where I am, they have a lot of support often from other creators also, which support them to be able to do so. I know that's the case in the area where I am and that there it do not matter if I'm in London or in Frankfurt or in Bonn. Um, but I don't know how the situation is with other people in general. All I know is that creatures like Prince Philip, so creatures which have lived as human beings before, not him, uh, but others have informed me before that a lot of ancestors are often unable to present themselves clearly towards living humans like that. So they are not always in the situation that they can communicate like that. But what uh, Prince Philip communicated here and what I communicate is that both of us, we think it would be possible that the family members of him can organize an appointment with me and I would come to the appointment with this creator directly. And then he would be able to use the wind and to communicate, to identify himself and to solve these test questions, for example, I spoke about, if the family members want to do such a procedure. Uh, you can agree to that, right? And he's lifting the tool up. And he's turning the star. That, that he did confuse me for a second. But you did agree to that, right? And he's lifting that up one more time to make that clear, okay? So the, the opportunity, the chance is there. Um, so, if I produce with him other videos regarding other topics, do not get too confused because of that. I think his main focus, most, uh, most important for him is to be able to communicate with his family members again. So potentially you if you watch the videos. Um, and as I said, um, when I do have a contact partner, um, some questions maybe could get solved by video but the best would be a meeting that's what i think because um i i can then explain the system how they use the wind how they canalize it and what you as a human have to watch closely to understand everything i can explain it the best way when it's happening of course and because i'm communicating so much with creatures which have lived as human beings before that's always happening in the area where i am and I'm in that situation now a few years, over three years, I think. We do not know each other that long and you have uh, lived your life at that time, but over three years, I think. So, um, and daily I'm in contact with creatures which have lived as human beings before. There's also another point. I'm in contact, for example, with the creature who have lived as my mom. So, for example, if I do have not contact with Prince Philip for a moment, for a day or a week or whatever, uh, as long as I'm connected in that way, I can, for example, communicate with my mom and she can then search for Prince Philip because they can have contact with each other as well. And then he, she can inform him that he's requested in the area where I am. And then he's there very quickly, normally. And uh, you can agree to that. You think, it, like in case we do not have contact, for example, tomorrow, but your family maybe have the question in their head, okay, now he's gone, is he lost? No, you could come back quickly and you could get informed, for example, from my mom, right, for an appointment and then you would be able to come to the appointment. Is that, if you think that's correct in that way, then please trigger the wind that this thing is lifted up. He's lifting it up and now it's, it's pushing against this black tool here, okay? And the other one, he's shaking it as well with more wind. So, um, so because of the networking possibilities these creators have under each other so it would be also possible if the family contact me them to reach him that's also important to understand so it's not only that he can reach me I also can reach him as long as he wants that mainly um, regarding me um, to keep that very easy um, I'm not a rich man, but um, I traveled often to the UK in my life, so I stayed often in the UK. My aunt is living in London, for example. So uh, it would not be the biggest problem for me to come over in case the family want that. I have planned, uh, I've planned in my life regarding the next years that I have to go to London anyway. 
for example, because my aunt is living there. Um, so just that's just as an information. Um, here at the moment in Frankfurt, just that you get an idea, here at the moment that's not the place where I normally live. Here I was invited um, from a woman um, and I helped her to be able to communicate with her husband, so the man she has lived with. And uh, since then she's able to communicate with him since uh, months. So I'll be back in a moment. Um, just one moment please. Because I have no lighter over here. I forgot my lighter. I just had a funny idea. I'm gonna explain you a little bit my situ uh, situation a little bit further. Because I know his family members are also well connected in the society. And um, in the other video you, you just um, agreed on the fact that you did a lot of um, charity do you, do, uh, during your life, right? So a lot of charity projects and stuff like that, is that correct? That's correct, right? Then can you trigger the wind a little bit more? Yeah, okay, thanks. Um, so I'm gonna explain you my situation a little bit better. Um, I'm, I'm living on social benefits. And what you see here is um, peaceful communication, friendly communication, but because creatures like him, so creatures which have lived as human beings before, uh, can influence my human body, um, that can lead to situations where I'm unable to work in a normal daily job so a 9 to 5 job if you want like that um, and I'm in the situation that I can communicate with such creatures since years now but I live only on social benefits so I cannot afford good video equipment for example and stuff like that and if I could find one day a little bit support there that would help a lot of creatures like Philip as well because then they could produce better documentations with me for their family members and that's what I'm often doing so the video you see here is one of many videos I produced with many different creatures which have lived as human beings before which did present themselves to the public which did communicate by using the natural environment to reach out for the living family members so I'm a guy who's building the bridge by filming that, by asking them the questions and by uploading that to the internet for the family members that they see and understand potentially the opportunity they have to communicate with them again and that they can understand the communication methods they can use. And he's agreeing to that strongly and you can see in the background also the wind is uh, triggered a lot. So, um, and so I'm explaining you that my situation is uh, I'm financially broke and I'm unable to work is true even if I'm able to help a lot with such videos for example um, and um, because I do these documentations with and for creators like Philip um, I'm searching for people which would be willing to support that financially because with with the bigger financial possibilities with more financial possibilities I would be able to get better equipment better video cameras uh, better microphones the microphones are very bad I have to use because of my financial resources and the microphones are not good to capture leaves of trees for example 
or even when Philip is uh, producing a sound with this wind tools when he's triggering the wind strong there can be a little sound which I can hear but the cameras cannot capture that well enough and with leaves especially like because plants and trees can get used for communication purpose very specific it would be great to have equipment which would uh, um, document that also very specific but that's not the case with the with the with the with the equipment I have here so because your family is so well connected I thought I give them that extra information because I'm in that weird situation since years now that I try to have so many creators and I have to do that under so bad circumstances regarding the technical aspects the laptop aspects the financial aspects and that's very very sad for example i'm not able by my own financial resources to travel today to to the uk you would like to go to the uk today to try to speak to your family members that's a question what's this what's the background see that i'm quiet Hopefully the cameras can capture that. That was a strong yes. So if I would have the possibilities, for example, I would jump into an airplane and we would go to the UK today, like this evening. But I'm not in that situation. And the, the rest of the story of the past few years in my life is that it is uh, very, very complex. It's easy to lose yourself in the story there. Um, but to keep it simple, uh, I'm spending the most time of my days with trying to help creatures which have lived as human beings before, which have lost their human body to uh, be able to communicate to the public and towards their living family members and I'm trying to inform about these topics which are connected to that but because universal communication can be so complex because they can use so many methods that's one of the reason why I said uh, do not lose yourself in the past of the, a lot of data which is online but you can see from the data that there were many creators which produced for example documentations like this one so many creators which are using the natural environment to present themselves and to communicate with people in that case uh, Philip who wants to reach the, his family members so I had this morning contact with one of your family members um, by Facebook via Facebook let me help you with um, I'm gonna send him the video and uh, would you like to see him? the guy I'm chatting with? yes so um, I'm gonna send you the video in, the f in our Facebook messenger uh, chat um, Andrew in that case and uh, Philip you did produce input right in my human hat you did dropped his name into my human hat yesterday is that correct the star yes and he's triggering the wind so that Andrew can understand that um, so he gave me your name as the key who I should contact but you tried also with uh, with another name right and I got confused is that true that is an extra information and I have to ask him because I'm not sure yet regarding my my other question I just forgot is it true you also did try another name and that did confuse me yes yeah then can you trigger the wind for that He's triggering the wind for that. Okay. So, uh, to Andrew, that you do understand that one of the methods they can use is to trigger thoughts in human biological bodies, like mine, potentially like yours. Um, I have learned as a human to reflect on a very high level in my human brain, in my thoughts, to identify input 
from creatures which are connected in symbiosis to my biological body. What Philip also can do, and he's triggering the wind for that. And that's how I received the thought with your name as an input. And before he tried another name, but I got confused. So I could not see it clearly and could not understand it well. And then when he dropped your name into my thoughts, uh, I had no information about Prince Andrew as far as I could remember at that moment in time in my own thoughts. So I did wonder where it's coming from, but I was in contact with Philip, so it was easy to build the bridge for me. The bridge of understanding for myself. <laughs> Hopefully I did not confuse you there. Um, so he would like to go to London or to, to, um, to the place where you live to see your family members uh, as soon as possible, right? Yes. That's a strong yes, and he's canalizing the wind, and he's uh, triggering the wind in the background as well for the family members. And you can see he's shaking the huge tree. And do you want to lift up that the, that one a little bit more one time? See, he's doing that, so he's making that very clear. Okay. So if I would have the financial possibilities, we would do that this evening, but I don't. I don't have them so I just uh, spoke that out to make clear I would be willing to come to the UK in case you want that and then he would be put high likely able to communicate so clear as he can do that here but in the environment in the UK of course and he's triggering the wind for that so um, if I would travel with him to the UK, he would be able to communicate with you by using the same method um, also in the UK. That's all I wanted to say. Um, regarding my time schedule, it's easy. You can request if you want to see me in the UK, you can request that and I'm flexible. Let me say it like that. And he's agreeing to that. That's also how he sees that. As I said, my aunt is also living in uh, London. She do have a beautiful house over there. Um, but at the moment, I'm not in contact with her. So I would need a place to stay. Um, in case I should stay for a week or so, depending on how long the family wants to communicate with Philip. And regarding the question how long I think they would need to understand the communication method, to learn to do specific communication with the creator, Philip, I think they would need um, one hour most likely to understand um, the most basic stuff. And then maybe by practicing it, another one hour or two or maybe three then they would be able to commute to understand philip very well that's what i think so after one hour they should have done should have understood the basics normally that's what i think and i think um, the most people can understand the basics if they are in the life situation and if they get it explained in the life situation and then for example philip could uh, communicate could answer the questions and if they feel comfortable um, I could go a little bit in the back and they could communicate with them and in case there are any problems they could contact me which means I could build up a distance but Philip would even then be able to use the method to communicate with them so we would be able to create a most as possible private situation after a while between Philip and his family members if he's using wind. Do you think the same, right? Do you think the same? You think they need a moment to understand the system to learn it? Yes, he's triggering the wind strong for that. Okay. Uh, and after they have learned it, let's say no matter if it's just a very few hours or a moment longer, after they have learned it, do you think then it would be possible for you to communicate with them 
more private how they would see it even if I as a human with my human body would be let's say a kilometer away or two that wouldn't be a problem right do you think that would yeah that would work and he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind so that the family members can understand that so he's saying you would need time to learn that a few hours also maybe a day maybe a day okay more wind and he he said afterward it would be possible for him if i would be a kilometer away or two kilometers away so that you would as a family would come together without other people which not belong to your direct family then he would be t uh, also able to communicate with you okay. yeah and he's agreeing to that the one tool is hanging there i help you okay nice. helps himself and agreeing to that so um this video i think will be online tomorrow today is the 11th of april but as i said i'm traveling to bonn later so i can't produce a too long video but maybe an hour is possible and then i'm gonna travel to bonn but i'm gonna have contact with philip in bonn as well maybe and he's agreeing to that so the location where i am is not a big problem for philip in general it's just if if we do not have contact let's say in a, a day or something then it's it's just a question of reaching each other and for me as i explained uh, potentially the question of sending somebody to find him to inform him and then he would come that's how humans can see and understand that uh, easily i think um so let's make that point one more time regarding security you think the, the, the meeting would be peaceful and you don't think that something uh, bad gonna happen yeah. he's agreeing to that okay that's why he triggered the wind he's lifting that up to make that point clear okay i made just the security point because uh, of experience from the past but not regarding others uh, also regarding others but more also regarding uh, um, things which did happen in the past so i'm making that point in general but as i said if uh, i have a contact partner for that question um, then i can send more details and i also think a peaceful meeting sh shouldn't be the problem for example the woman i helped that's the house where i'm staying at the moment here in frankfurt um, she's also peacefully communicating with her husband since them for months and months and months without huge problems So, um, so I'm sad, but we cannot go to the UK today <laughs> because I'm broke. <laughs> but if your family uh, wants to contact me, they can do that, or Andrew can contact me, and then I could fly to, by airplane to the UK, and then we can explain them your situation. You can then explain them uh, your situation after I explain them how you can do that, and then they can solve all the open questions. And he's agreeing to that and uh, i'm sure you have like a list in your mind who you want to see and you, who you want to speak to from your family members is that true yes he did trigger the wind and he did turn the star but very specific directly into uh, the area where i was watching with my eye okay so I could, that's how i could analyze it he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind so um I'm sure your family members will know or do you think they will know who you would like to see most likely like they do have yeah yeah so to the family members uh, Philip would like to speak to a few of his family members not just Andrew no more um, most likely yeah who's all of them right I don't know <laughs> um, you would speak to the most of the people you would like to speak to most of the people you did hang around with during the time where you lived is that correct yes and then you have a family priority list and your family notes that yes 
Okay, that's easy and that's clear, right? He's triggering the wind for that very strong. So he would like to, to uh, meet the family members he was um, spending lifetime with a lot. And he's triggering the wind clearly for that. And also afterwards he, he would uh, maybe speak to some other people, communicate with some other people he did know from the past as well. So maybe non-direct family members, friends. Yeah. Or do not have to be afterwards, but he have the priority list with the family. And I'm sure the family members do know by themselves. So Andrew, uh, I'm sending you the video, um, the direct link also. So you have a lot of opportunities to inform the family. I know in the first moment it's like uh, maybe difficult to understand. Do you think it's going to be difficult for them to understand? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, can you trigger the wind them one more time? Uh, is yes correct? You think they have enough knowledge about the possibility that creators can use that? Some of your family members. Yes, okay, therefore, okay, so he thinks uh, the family members, okay, yeah, okay, that's good, that's very good, okay, and then we just have to, the family members just have to work out which questions they want to ask him for the identification that they feel uh, much as possible comfortable, and um, it, it makes sense to create a few tests because uh, maybe, for example, if they want to meet him, they can test his identif and identification. Then uh, it can get tested in a video, but maybe after a while he's coming back and then a, a new identification should take place. So it makes maybe sense to prepare a few tests if you want that. And as I said, he can answer yes or no questions very easy. So it would make sense to create a test with questions only Prince Philip can answer and where you think only he can answer them and where he can reply with yes or no. So you can um, build into the test some wrong questions and traps. <laughs> that would work, right? They can do put a trap into the test. Yes, that shouldn't be the problem for him to solve. Okay? That's why what he's triggering the wind for. So, um, yeah, I have to go to the UK anyways because my mom wants to speak to her sister and my mom is in a situation like he is. Uh, she lost her human body a while ago. Um, and uh, I belong to the humans who did not want to ex uh, accept that. That's why I did fight to have contact with creatures which have lived as human beings before, to have uh, contact with my mom. That's how I started universal communication on a, on a good level, just as an as a information for you. So I came from a family situation into, the, into that, uh, to that point that I decided to fight to have contact with a creature which have lost a human body, my mom. Susanne Ilse is the name. She did um, check the identity of Prince Philip also as far as she could, and she came to the conclusion it is the creator who is Prince Philip. That's as an extra information. That's what sh my mom communicated to me a day or two days ago. I'm not quite sure about that. But uh, two days ago, I think, because before I uploaded the video, I did check that with my mom. So the first video, which is online. So the, to the family members, we could meet in the UK or in Germany and we could use every garden, for example, if you want to have some privacy, like in a garden like this, every garden would be possible for Philip uh, to, to communicate in. Uh, as long as he is in the situation that he can uh, influence and control the natural environment, he's agreeing to that by lifting the wind tool up so that you do better understand that. And uh, there there's no need for a huge preparation or something. Normally that's not necessary. And uh, he's agreeing to that as well. Can you agree to that? Trigger the wind? Yes. 
he's putting some wind over here now to agree to that and he triggered the wind very strong in the background so please watch the background also um, I'm gonna use the small camera I hope later it's I hope it's filming well as I said I do not have good equipment this camera is broken sometimes there is a problem but I try to just triggered the wind and that's the garden well these are the cameras which are filming this moment so two two cell phones which are very cheap sadly and not water resistance resistant and a broken camera and one of the microphones is not working very well I'm just saying that with the water resistance because you could see it's a little bit dark up there so in case it starts to rain I have to stop the video um, let me drink something for a moment do you also think if you would be able to communicate with your family members they could learn a lot from you now right because you have so much knowledge um, which you can catch in the symbiosa and because you have a other perspective on planet earth and he's agreeing to that by triggering the wind okay um, let me explain that because he have lost his human body how he see planet earth and the natural environment his capabilities to analyze stuff are much bigger than they were during his lifetime as a human even with a good infrastructure and uh, people working for him and he's agreeing to that and that's because of uh, what they are capable of that they can use the natural environment therefore they can also analyze it and of course um, they are able to connect to what I call the CI so the central intelligence on planet earth for example because they're able to um, yeah, to, to outread biological uh, biological bodies for example and from that the creatures can learn a lot they do know a lot not only regarding humans in general no also regarding uh, the natural environment uh, how energy problems can get solved so there is a lot of um, a lot of opportunities how living humans could cooperate with creatures which have lived as human beings before and um, there are a lot of opportunities how living humans could receive uh, important information to how to solve problems environment problems on planet earth stuff like that regarding illnesses so it's very very complex and um, he's, he did agree to that by triggering the wind and he's doing that one more time that's why he's pushing them back so um, that as a little extra information so I'm sorry I have something in my glass give me a moment In the other video I did ask you you did adopt very quickly to the new new way of living right to the new lifestyle you have because you have lost your human body is that correct you could adopt to the new situation quite quickly yes and do you think that that is also because you became so old as a human so because you have lived a, such a long life That's not the case. That's not the case. That's not the case he, to trigger the wind for. That's not the case. Okay. That's a question I have by myself for him. That, that's why I did ask that. Because in the first video, uh, I did ask him that if he did adopt to the new situation very well, that he have lost his human body. Some creatures do adopt to that situation quick. Others uh, need a moment. That's uh, what I think. From the communication I had with many different creatures 
So uh, it was interesting to hear that he could adapt to the new situation uh, well. So the new capabilities, the new stuff he can do, um, how he can see today as a creator, uh, stuff like that. Um, but of course it's sad that you are unable to communicate with your living family members in a way that they can understand that well. Right? Yes. So that's the point uh, which is sad for him. So not everything is perfect because he could adopt to the situation well. But uh, that's good to hear actually because I had contact with some creators which had a huge problem that they have lost their human body for more reasons um, besides the problem that they were unable to communicate with. He's agreeing to that. So that's a, that's a good situation for you then if you could adopt to that. Um, your, um, your memory, is it good regarding your human life? So maybe that's interesting for your family to know. Your memory regarding your human life, can you remember a lot of stuff? Yes. Okay, yes is the answer. He triggered the wind back here a bit in the small trees. And this thing here is hanging in the stativ, but he did trigger the wind. I'm gonna ask again. Maybe that's the best. So your your memory regarding your human life, is it well? Is it good? Can you remember a lot of stuff? And he's triggering the wind for that with the wind tool here, saying yes. Okay, that's also an important question because of the test we have to solve later. But he was quite uh, comfortable how he communicated that he can solve the test, the creature who is triggering and kind of lighting the wind. So um, that is good that your memory, then that you can remember the stuff. And uh, that's helpful, of course. Um, Oh, regarding the answers, regarding these test questions, there's an extra, an extra note from me. Because they can outreach human brains, please do not give me the answers. So do the test in a way that you that he have to solve the test without that I do know the answers. Later, when he have done the test, then you can tell me if the result was good or bad. Uh, he's agreeing to that. So that as an extra information. So it's uh, it's a little bit difficult to create such a test, but not impossible. It's something quite easy to have the opportunity to communicate with the creature which have lost the human body uh, compared to what others have to do to be able to do that. <laughs> quite easy. That's what I think. Uh, especially for family members. For others it will be uh, difficult. Difficult because everything what is public data is not very useful for such a test, right? Yeah. I help you. Yeah. You can tell me something like this too much. So it's three o'clock in uh, uh, today, and I have to leave to Bonn very soon. Um, so I do not want to produce a too long video today. Um, and this one gonna be uploaded as I said most likely tomorrow because I'm sitting in the train later uh, and then we'll maybe another day we can produce another video and uh, I'm gonna send this video to Andrew and Andrew hopefully you understood that this creator which identify himself as uh, Prince Philip as the creator who have lived in the human body uh, of Prince Philip he would like uh, to come to the UK with me to meet you and other family members to be able to communicate with you directly so that you get the lifetime experience in the area where the wind is canalized and that he's producing a lot of wind for that and triggering the wind and the reason is uh, easy because you can feel the wind on your skin you get much more impressions uh, you get in life situations you can solve your questions much easier than by watching videos so and such a the, the communication uh, could could be very easy for you later after you have learned how it's work how it's working that's what I think he's agreeing to that so regarding the wind he's agreeing to that by this method okay because they have many communication methods I did speak about this method okay um, I'm gonna end the video
I'm gonna send it to you um, and um, all the family members are invited to contact me if you want and as I said I could come to the UK um, we can do that if you want quick so as quick as possible if you want um, however you like that and um, you can prepare a little bit as I said um, with uh, finding a good test method for the creator so that would help Philip and you I think uh, for him it would be good to identify himself complex towards you and you can feel them comfortable if during the time periods when you then communicate with them and he's producing a lot of wind in the background for the family members and he's triggering the wind but he did trigger the background because they are hanging there like this <laughs> This thing, this black thing here is not perfect for these tools, but I could not hang them over here. So I apologize for that. But, <laughs> but if you would be here live, you would see all the background very clear. You would feel all the wind waves on your skin. It's always quite impressive if creatures like Philip do communicate like that for living humans, if they do not know that that can work. And uh, Philip thinks the same. He's agreeing to that. And um, a very huge area can get used. A very huge area can get used. I'm going to use the small camera just to present you the area over there. And you could see in the background the trees were even tricked. So he did a moment ago when we did talk about the family part, he did trigger the wind in the whole area. And now he's canalizing the wind to the point where I'm pointing with this mobile camera at. So that's the garden area where we filmed. And uh, yeah, me and him, we can maybe produce another video later. And today I. Uh, I have to spend some time in the train later so that's why I have to uh, keep the video short so and the family your family members are invited and then we can go from there on okay thanks for watching thanks for watching your Knight Sebastian Power Sieger and that is Prince Philip as far as he created himself who did canalize the wind as you have heard and seen and um, I'm gonna send you the video material and my contact details and in the videos I think your family members have a lot of information for the for the first little moment huh? yes but you would like to communicate quicker with them better more complex strong yes for that uh, you can see the wind is getting triggered in the background it's triggering the wind for that so he's saying also talk to you later to the family members correct right with the wind wave yes okay so we will produce another video in bondam also maybe and you can contact me um, if you want i sent you the the email address my phone number and um, from there on we can organize to meet and then you can get the lifetime experience you can learn to com how he can communicate with you i can explain that to you train you a little bit and then he will be able to communicate with you directly and in, we, in between we can also solve these test questions and then your family should feel comfortable with the identification if they if you solve their own tests that's what i think yes okay and i'm, I'm gonna wait for your reply thanks for watching your night and prince philip